Hello there, guys. Right, this is a problem uh, which is a little bit of a pain in the arse in The Sims. It's when your menu is really tiny. Now, sometimes when you jump from full screen to windowed mode, uh, it does this, and it's a little bit hidden where you put it back. So I'm gonna show you how to get it back. So you wanna pause your game and go into your game options, if you can see them with a magnifying glass. And in here, look, we're on windowed, I've got my resolution set and all of that stuff, and you would expect it to be inside here, but it isn't. It's in accessibility, and we've got a couple of options you can use. You can say auto scale with the operating system. Now, normally, clicking this makes it look fine. So give that a try first of all, and you can see there, that looks pretty good. You can sort of see in the background that my game looks pretty cool. But if that doesn't get it to the way you want it to look, you can actually drag this, uh, and you can have it however you want. Uh, you can make it ridiculous and it's going to break your game a little bit or you can make it really really tiny so you want to be somewhere in there but usually this is going to make the game look a lot better for you so we're going to apply the changes and we'll go back into the game and you'll see now we've got something sensible that you can click on i still think that's a little bit small to be honest so i am going to go into my options again i'm going to go to other uh, not other accessibility i'm going to Knock it up a couple more notches. Let me have a look at that. Done. And we'll exit out. Yeah, I like that. I think those buttons look about right. So there we go. That is the way that you change your user interface so that you can actually see the things uh, rather than them being really, really, really tiny. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe, whatever you like. Comment, your call. Cool. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.